Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a user authentication and user registration using a Merle stack application. So the first thing you need to do is to go to mongodb.com and create an account there. It's free and easy. You can just use your Google account. I have my account already open here. So you hit build the database. You have this free category, you can choose it. I'm not going to touch anything here except the name. I'm going to change the name of my database. You can do it too. And hit create cluster. You need to put your username and password here so that you use those uh, informations to log in from your application later. I already have it here, so I don't need to do it. And then if you don't have an IP address here, you hit the button add my current IP address. Finish and close. While it's loading, you can go download the MongoDB Compass because that's what we are going to use to check our database and uh, manipulate it and everything. So, I don't know if I can connect while it's still loading. Anyway, I will leave it loading and I go here. You install in your uh, first thing I have uh, this server side application which is an express application ready here and I also have this react application I didn't touch anything I just installed them so npm install you need to install the mongoose so that we are able to use the mongodb database and also cores Weird. Still load? Uh -huh. Okay, it's ready. So, you hit connect and you connect using the MongoDB. I have MongoDB Compass and you copy this link and you paste it in here. All you need to do is change this password section with the password that you chose when you created this database and hit connect. So I finished installing Mongoose and uh, course. So const, I'm going to start calling the packages that we need, require. Ah, wait, I'm writing the wrong file. Sorry. So, as I said, we start with the express package. Require express. Next thing is course, course, course. Require. You don't need to understand what is course right now. It's just necessary that we do this application. So for the moment, just follow me and it's fine. So then I'm gonna import the mongoose. Sometimes extra information hurts our brains. Mongoose. So we are gonna use app.use express.json so that we can use the JSON format in our application. You don't really need to also to, uh, to understand. Uh, This is release. So up, but use also, uh, of course, not like, like, not like that, like this, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mongoose dot connect. 
Okay, I have my database header connected on the MongoDB compass. Then I go connect, but this time connect to your application. I copy this link and I paste it here. Well, no, actually, it's not really recommended that you that you paste it here. That's why we create this .env file <coughs> in order to hide those uh, important information. So I'm gonna create a variable called db and paste it here. All you need to do is to change this password here with the password that you set. And just before this question mark here, you put the name of the database that you chose. So, instead of putting the link then here, you put process.env.db, which is the name of the uh, variable. Then you write this, use new URL parser. You don't really need also to understand this. Just write it and trust me. Well, in order to be able to use the .env file, you need to do you need to import the .env config. So that's it for this video. We finished connecting, which is not really obvious right now, but in the next video you're gonna see that we are connected. See you.